Hi guys, okay so I thought I'd do um, a video on what I'm packing um, for the hospital. I've done one um, for what I'm packing for the baby for the hospital, um, so I will link um, that down below. Um, but this is purely what I'm taking for me. So I'm packing, um, it's like um, a small, you know, cabin bag, like what you would take on on his hand luggage on an aeroplane, um, although it is quite small. Um, okay, so um, I managed to fit it all in here. I've still got to put in um, a top for going home in, but what I think I'm going to do is just pack one of my kind of comfy maternity t-shirts, and I'm not going to pack that until kind of right at the end because I'm obviously wearing them all at the moment. Um, so I'll look in the zip bit first. So I have got comfy pants. So these are just from um, a shop called Primark, which we have in the UK, which is um, like a really kind of cheap shop. Um, these were like two pound fifty for four, and they're just like big pants basically. So they will just be comfortable, um, and obviously they'll be good for putting in the maternity pad in and stuff like that. Um, so I bought two packs of those, I'm taking one pack with me to the hospital which has got four pairs in and I've got another pack here. I'm taking some paracetamol. Um, in here is just a couple of um, breast pads, so I'm just taking I think six, so enough for three changes in. If I need more then obviously I'll just send someone to go and get those. I've got two packs of these. Those are just from Boots. Um, I've also got some from Tesco's as well, but I'm not picking those off with me. Um, a big towel. This one, um, I didn't want to take one of my kind of bath towels that I use in the house because in case it gets ruined. Um, so I decided to take this one instead. I am also taking swimming stuff because I'm planning on having a water bath. So I've got... Um, and like a bikini top and I've also got like a, a tankini um, and I've also got a swimming skirt um, I'm not bothering taking any bottoms obviously because I won't be able to wear them but I might be able to wear the swimming skirt which would make me a bit happier because then I feel a little bit more kind of covered up but if I can't I can't but I'm going to take it anyway um, I take two pairs of socks um, and then I've just got a pair of, these are just black lounge trousers, they're actually men's, I got them in the men's section in Tesco's um, because they're really comfortable and they're quite thick, um, like tracksuit bottoms, so you could kind of get away with wearing them outside the hospital to the car, which is what I'm kind of planning on doing, um, so they're not too thin, so you're not going to be able to see through them or anything like that, um, but they're also not kind of really hot. So I bought these, um, and then I bought this, which is also from Tesco's, and it's like a kind of night, like nighty, but like one of the shirt kind of ones, and it's really soft. And that was just like ten pound, because I just thought I don't want to. I wanted to take things that were dark colours, because watching other people's videos that lots of people said about um, taking dark coloured um, kind of nightwear in case you bleed or you know leak on them so I wanted to get black things um, and I also didn't want to take things that you know I want to keep kind of thing because if it gets ruined I just want to be able to throw it away and not care so I just bought those two things from Tesco's and I think it was like £16 for both of them so I've got those and then obviously I've got my toiletries bag, so this is just a little Ted Baker kind of bag. And in here I have got a shampoo and conditioner. This is by Aussie, and I really like those. I don't normally buy them because they're quite expensive, but um, I think, you know, I can treat myself. I've got a loofah, deodorant, um... Like um, a cream in case I kind of have like dry skin or anything like that. Uh, toothpaste. This is 
original sort of shower gel. I love the smell of this. Um, and this is um, for your lips, like a lip balm, but it's more of like a moisturising one. It's by Blister, so it's really good. So I've taken that as well. Um, my toothbrush obviously will be packed later, so I'm just going to take my normal electric one, which I'm obviously using at the moment. Um, and that is about it for my bag at the moment. Um, there's still kind of a few small bits. I mean, I need to pack obviously my camera and my phone and my chargers and some money and snacks and stuff, but I'm not going to pack things like that until much later. And obviously my, my phone and things like that will be in my handbag with me anyway. So they'll never really be packed in this bag. Um, and for my other half, I'll probably just pack him some kind of comfy, you know, jogging bottoms or something like that. Um, and obviously some snacks and a toothbrush and stuff for him. Um, but we live literally like five, ten minutes from the hospital. So if he needed to come back anyway to get stuff for himself, then he can do that. Okay, so I think that's all I wanted to say in this video. I'm obviously taking my makeup as well, but again, that will be in my handbag, so that will not go in here. Um, and a dressing gown, that's the other thing. I haven't bought one yet. I really wanted like a, a dark blue or black one. I haven't been able to find one yet, apart from really thick toweling ones, and I wanted like a thinner one. Um, I haven't found one yet. I've only found them in white, so I haven't bought one of those yet. Hopefully I'll be able to find one. If I can't, I'm going to use my other half's <laughs> navy blue one. And if it gets ruined, then that's fine because it's looking a bit kind of tatty anyway. You could probably do with another one. Um, yeah, so I think we'll probably pack maybe some playing cards or something like that um, for him. You know, um... And maybe my iPod or something, but I've got an iPhone, so probably I'll just put the music on there. Right, I think that's about it. I am. I will see you in my next video, which will probably be my 29-week update. Okay, bye.